I'm gonna say hi vlog. <laughs> Happy Friday vlog. It is 10 past six in the morning. I woke up at about 20 past three this morning. I haven't been able to fall back asleep. So I just thought about an hour ago now, or maybe half an hour ago, I thought, I'll just get up now and just sort of start my day. Husband is still sleeping, just trying to be as quiet as possible so we can have some more rest. It's just been Preston and I hanging out. We've both had breakfast. It's chilling. Happy Friday. How good. It's the end of the week. I hope you're well. I hope you've got a good weekend coming up planned with family and or friends. So peaceful this morning. I've gone outside and it's like, nice and cool like i don't even need my robe because it's actually pretty warm in the house but it's just so nice and cozy but anyway today's plan i plan so my husband is going to be back in the office for a few days a week starting next week so i'll iron some of his shirts his work shirts if i get more energy i'll clean up the house and there was one thing i needed to do i forgot so i don't know if you guys can see but prez accidentally scratched me oh there it is Balls are a bit long, but so that's what that is, in case you're wondering. Okay, so it's now about two o'clock, and we finally announced, posted that we were expecting. And holy heck, when I tell you I was sweating balls, I was sweating like to the point that I had to take a shower right after I posted it because it was so nerve wracking, it was so scary. I think it was scary because we've been keeping it on the down low for the last few months. Prez is just playing with his toy, don't mind him. And it was like finally letting everybody else know. Our family and our closest friends knew that we were expecting pretty early on. And so I think it was just the overwhelming feeling of letting the rest of our family and friends know and it was almost it's almost like it's i don't, I don't know I, I can't really explain it yeah we've finally shared it i've just been really struggling nowadays because we're coming into the warmer weather the clothes that i've been wearing are more maternity i guess i don't know and so i'm pretty much naked all the time at home so really, i've been finding it really hard to vlog because of the fact that I just cannot hide my bump anymore. And some days I'm still just so fatigued and so tired. Yeah, crazy. I don't know how I feel that we've shared it now. It's just been a moment because of the COVID restrictions. We only had a phone appointment today with the midwife, but we are going to the hospital in a couple of weeks time. She mentioned that all our appointments from now on will also be face to face. Cause yeah, we've had some telehealth consultations in the past. Also, pregnancy brain. You guys have no idea how much I have to edit out in my vlogs because I just, I blank out. I'm talking about something and it doesn't even make sense or it's taking me about half a second to think of my next word or my next, what it is I'm trying to say. So now I don't have to hide that at least as much. No, but there was another thing. Um, oh, and I've got my glucose tests next week so i think it's checking for gestation gestational i guess gestational diabetes it's been really exciting i was actually going to just announce it when bub is here but um yeah it's kind of become a laughing joke with my husband and i but anyway i don't know it just kind of felt right today i don't know out of all days i've never felt this before but there was just something about today that i wanted to to do it definitely partly the reason why that I didn't really want to share it early on is because of what our journey has been and you feel very protective over me anyway. I've had this sense of just protectiveness that I just want to keep this as low key as possible because you want the best outcome to happen which is going past the first trimester and making sure there's no complications or obviously those are things you can't control. But when you're going through it and you've had that experience in the past, it's a whole different ball game. actually being pregnant after infertility. And yeah, that's, that's just been where I've been at. You just want to savor it as much as you can, day by day, week by week. And it's just such a milestone to get to where we're at today. I mean, yeah, it's so exciting. I've been misting 
really hard you start to just nest to the point where it just comes naturally to you and i didn't think that that was i don't know like possible i mean i don't know what this is like also pregnancy hormones when it comes to the realization that my husband and i are about to become parents and that's also something new to me it's something i've never obviously experienced before but no it's been good yeah just really taking it easy maybe one day closer to the time i'll do a nursery tour i would love to do one i would love to do one because i know i've been watching a heck of a lot of those videos preparing for labor labor videos everything you can think of hospital bags newborn essentials nappy bags the whole thing that's where i've been spending my time on that's where we've been at that's what today's vlog is gonna be it's a different feeling altogether let me show you my baby bump actually so yeah i've been keeping this pretty low key made it this far so yeah i'll catch up with you guys soon and say bye to the vlog bye vlog Huh.